Something in my head is like, somebody is watching, something is not right. So he's kissing and all of this, and my head is moving back, and I'm looking and stuff like that. And he pulls my boob back, and as soon as he pull it out, I look back, and guess the fuck who's standing there, bitch? Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little different. Um, this is going to be a story time. And I don't know how good I am at telling stories, but hopefully this is like interesting enough to watch. So this is the story where <laughs> I got caught with a boy. So my very first love, let's just call him Charles. Charles was my very first love. He was, this was middle school. I met him in seventh grade. He was in eighth grade. You guys know how like puppy love go. You in school, you meet up at the lockers, you on the phone all night. You really can't see each other, hang out. Cause around this time, you're not really allowed to have boyfriend or girlfriends, especially girls, you ain't allowed. You in seventh grade. But um, you sneak anyway. I snuck around a lot for Charles because that was just my baby. So in school, most definitely, we had our times where we would like sneak out of class and go see each other, meet up in the bathroom or my, by the bathrooms, or he would come to my door and like peek his head in. And I used to get these butterflies like, oh, my baby's here. It was just one of those type of loves. So at this point in our relationship, Charles and I were reaching the whole sexual point. And again, I was in seventh grade, he was in eighth grade. We really didn't have the space to have sex or do anything sexual. The most that we only did was kiss. So in seventh grade, I was a dancer. I danced seventh and eighth grade in my school. So seventh grade, I was a dancer and I always had dance practice every night. Well, not every night. I want to say on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I had dance practice. So one of these nights, I had dance practice. Now, I'm going to give you some background information on Charles right quick. Charles was a mama's boy, like legit. His mother loved these out of him okay nobody could do no wrong he couldn't i mean he couldn't do no wrong to nobody nobody couldn't do anything to him like that was her baby okay so any female that came into his life she was definitely side on the shit out of them I'm one of the types where I really have to get on the good foot with your parent, especially your mom. But for some reason, she would not let me get on her good foot. And I think that's because I legit had him wrapped up. But Charles dealt with a lot of females in his life. I mean, not in his life, but he dealt with a lot of females because he was very attractive. But I legit had his ass geeked, okay? Like, he really kind of, like, settled down for me. He chilled out. It was always my name in the topic. He was always, like, with me at school. It was always on the phone with me. Like, I took up so much of his time. And as a mother, you're paying attention, like, who this little bitch? So, as much as I try, even when I call his house, like, hey, Miss Such and Such, can I speak to Charles? Mm-hmm, hold on. You know, she gave me all of that because she really wasn't feeling me. Like, who is this girl? Like what? So now that we knocked that out of the way, I had practice, dance practice at school. And Charles decided to stay after school that day because he just wanted to be with me. And I was happy, okay? He actually surprised me. He peeked his head in my dance class and I'm like, oh, he's here. So I gave an excuse like, mm, I gotta go pee. I left dance practice, practice, we grabbed hands and we walking down the hall and later on we like so cuddly and all up on each other and he holding me from the back and grabbing my little butt and I'm just the, oh god, I, that boy just had me like this. So finally we find this corner and we get to making out, right? So we're like kissing and time is like really skipping me because I'm so wrapped up in him that I was out of dance practice for like 30 minutes, but I didn't give a shit because I was with my bag. So finally, we go all around the school just kissing in different areas and stuff. And I'm like, I got to get back to practice. Like, I got to get back. So he was like, man, forget practice, man. Stay with me, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, I'll stay. My dance class is here, okay? This is my dance class. We hid behind the lockers here, okay? So we decided to stand there because I was trying to make my way back to dance class. But again, every spot, we was just kissing and making out and touching and grabbing and all this stuff, right? I knew the time was kind of getting ahead of us. So I was like, I really got to make it back to dance practice. Because I told her I went to go pee. That was it. Like, nobody's peeing for 30 minutes. Anyways, we fall into the lockers and we kiss it. This time, I don't know what it was, but we really got into it. So me and him was just making out and we, uh, and, mm, and it, oh God, it was just amazing. Like, I was ready to just <laughs> bend it up, bend it up, bend it up. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm being honest. My hormones were really, like, rushing at this point and he was fine okay he was just everything and my first boy my first love so you know i was willing to do whatever for this dude so we're in the lockers and we're kissing tonguing each other down and we got to touching and feeling before you know it i feel him going to my shirt and i'm still letting him do it and he pulls my boob out and at this point we're kissing but something in my head is like 
somebody is watching, something is not right. Charles's back is behind, it's on the locker. So this is Charles' back, this is the wall. So he's leaning back on the wall. I'm in front of him, okay? So he's kissing and all of this, and my head is moving back, and I'm looking and stuff like that. And he pulls my boob back, and as soon as he pull it out, I look back, and guess the fuck who's standing there, bitch? Y'all, Charles' mother is standing right there watching the whole scene, and she like this. And when I look back, I'm like, oh, 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 oh shit. So in the process, Charles' eyes is closed. Like, he's really close. He's getting into it. And I'm like, stop, your mother. So she like, mm, so this what you been doing? So you just out here with my son. She ain't say shit about her son. She talking to me. So you out here with my son doing this, right? So she all loud, Miss Brooks, that was my dance teacher name. Miss Brooks, um, one of your students is out here hugged up on my son. And Miss Brooks like, Nathisha, you been gone for 45 minutes. I thought you said you had to go to the bathroom. And I'm just like, yeah, I did. <laughs> so anyways, his mother is really like going off at the mouth. My teacher is like, well, ma'am, calm down. I'm just going to take her. So as I'm walking back to dance class, his mother like, uh-huh, I'm going to wait for your mother because I'm going to let her know how fast you are and what you're doing after school with boys and this, this, and that. She never got on Charles. She never got on him. It was just me that she was just going back and forth with. So I was just like, a girl. So, I knew that the lady was waiting for my mother because she wanted to speak to my mother and tell her about the incident. And you're not snitching on me, bitch, because I knew that was the end of me. So, I, let, I waited at least like 15, 20 minutes before I came outside. I guess she got tired of waiting and she ended up leaving. So, I was like, okay, this is the time. I'm just going to make a run for it. So, I grabbed my shit, run down the steps, and run to the front of the building. And I'm like in my mom's car. And she's like, what's wrong with you? At this time, my mom was a worker holic. So, you know, whenever you get in the car from school, your mother always on the phone. I mean, always on the phone. And at this point, it ain't no conversation interruptions when she on the phone. Because it's after hour conversation. So, you know, she catching up with her girlfriends, her boyfriend, whoever. Most likely she on the phone with her girlfriends telling her about her dad. So, I knew I couldn't really interrupt her, which was perfect. Because I want her to not pay attention, let me get in the car, and her pull off. But what threw her off was the fact that it took me so long to come out. So, she like, yeah, girl... Hold on, hold on. Um, what took you 20 minutes to come? I was like, Mom, dance practice led over. But all the girls in the front, yeah, you don't see Miss Brooks in the front. I was back there with her. We trying to learn some back bend or something like that. Oh, okay, fine. My mother's still sitting there on the phone talking. I'm like, bitch, pull off. Like, let's go. Y'all, I remember this day like yesterday. His mother, Charles' mother, drove a big black truck. That motherfucker, it was like a Tahoe or something. And I happen to see, my mother starts the car up and she's pulling off real slow because, again, she on the phone, ain't paying attention. Yeah, girl, uh -huh, driving and shit. I see the truck. We going forward. I see the truck come this way. I'm like, fuck. Imagine you, I'm in the front seat of the car. My mom goes to make a left. The truck beeps the horn. And I'm like, mom, what was that? I, I got I to gotta take her, I got to take her man off that. Again, since she on the phone, I'm interrupting her. She didn't give a fuck about a corn. Cool, uh, horn, she cussed me out. So while she cussing me out, making a left, the mother still there trying to get her attention. My mother done drove off and went, I said it was nothing but Jesus. I lie to you not. My mother never knew nothing about that day. I never said anything, never got in trouble. She just kept cussing me out. And Lord, I'd take that cuss out than a damn ass whooping.